Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Game Editor module, so let's get started. Uh, the Game Editor module is what allows you to edit the settings of your game. It also shows you what kind of models and resources that you're going to be using in the game. Um, so the first thing you need to do is to open a game. You can do that by either clicking on here and then selecting a game, or you could even drag and drop a game from uh, your data explorer in the games folder. Uh, you could go to game and then create if uh, this one wasn't actually open and we'd be able to create a new game. Um, so once you have it open you can see that there's a couple of things here. Uh, the first thing to notice is that it's got the name. There's also spots for AI and for a camera. So the AI is the scripting that actually controls what happens in the game. Um, there has to be at least one here to be able to load resources when your game starts. Um, also, there's a place for putting the camera. Um, that's just kind of like the main camera that you'd be using within the game. You can have multiple cameras. Um, you can see I've created a scene already in this game. A scene can be, you can think of that as a level. Um, you, know, you can have multiple levels as you pr proceed through the game. And there's a tab for mod models so you can put, you know, if we had uh, we we're going to be using in the ball or maybe the ground model within the game. You put that here and then that makes it accessible through your scripting and, and whatnot. You can um, you know reference these objects. And there's other other tabs, resources, things like maybe particle effects and um, you know and it goes on to plugins and environmental stuff. Haven't really done too much with that. Um, we'll probably go into that in more detail as we progress through the game creation uh, if it becomes necessary. But just wanted to, you know, kind of let you see how, um, you know, how we use the game editor module. Uh, you have several different options in here. Um, you know, when you need to create your AI, you can come in to edit, create AI, um, create scenes or add scenes. Um, so it's it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot that we do with it. Um, basically, when I'm creating a game, what I do is I come in, I make sure that we have a game. Um, you know, I create the game and then I add the AI by going to uh, create, and then I created this one called main AI. So it would be like, um, let's remove that, edit user main AI create. Oops, we'll just call it two since I've already got one. Um, so that the scripting's there, and then if I was to, you know want to use a camera as the main camera, I can go ahead and drag and drop it in there. The other thing is um, scenes. You can uh, create a scene. Maybe we're going to do level two. So then that would load the scene. So this is how you control you know, what resources that you have within the game. So that's the basics of that. And uh, we'll be looking at some of the other modules that are available. Um, just kind of a brief overview and we'll look at them in much greater detail as we actually start to use them as we create the game. So hope to see you in the next video.